Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 3, Episode 9 of My Little Pony. Last we saw was something about sidekicks, and it was all about pets, and having Spike be greedy, and constantly addicted to jewels, and then convincing everyone to let him watch their pets, and then just letting everything go to hell, basically. That's what Spike kind of does most of the time. Even though I love him, he's... A little rambunctious and selfish, but it's in his dragonness. I feel like he can't help it. I I mean, it showed him drop the jewel on the cake and his tongue comes out. He doesn't even know he's doing it. It's almost like it's in his blood, so I can't fault him. He's a dragon in a pony world. I don't know where the show is going right now from here. I am most curious right now about the Cutie Crusaders. I constantly want to see them and I want to know when they're going to get their cutie marks, what it's going to be. I don't know if that was a popular thing. I feel like in the comments, people tell me that's like uh, like the minority wanted to know about that. I feel like people even said people weren't on board with the Cutie Crusaders, but I'm loving them. So we're going to jump in. If you guys want to be way ahead, Patreon link at the end, full unedited episodes, seasons ahead of what you're seeing on YouTube. If not, here we go. This is season three, episode nine, My Little Pony. Applejack episode. We got Granny Smith. I hope it's a lot. Manhattan. Cousins coming. My little pony. We have Babs coming back. Looks like the family's grown tenfold. Family reunion. I could always help out. Me too. Yep. Yep. Since the last time the apples oh my all God. together. That's what she looked like. That looked amazing. You are in charge. Let's do it. I won't let you down, Granny. You Granny Smith you as a young pony. Your... We've been hosting these things at Sweet Apple. Apple I want to meet so, so many new ponies. Roots here in Ponyville. Andy Applesauce. Now she's go by another name, but every pony started calling her Applesauce after half her teeth fell out and she's making apple jam. Working on that same old quilt since our... Are we going to have a flashback? I can do it. Get to see Granny Smith as a youngin. Oh, fangle, fangle. <laughs> Think we're ever gonna finish that doggone thing. Hey, what's going on here? Where's the grandfather? Where's like Granny Smith's husband? Who are you, little one? Applejack! Now, Apple Poodle. That was adorable again. Now, I'm loving apple this. In my mouth and roast my rump. Apple Rose. We're gonna win this one, cousin. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Finish line. Not much to a seven-legged rice. We always snapped a photo in front of the barn at the end of every reunion. Let's just see how our family Look how grows. big it's growing. In front of the barn. Who knows if they'll all be able to make the next I hope there's a million, and I hope there's a hundred more names. I've got some planning to do. I love how they got the old lady and the old man with the pitchfork in ponies behind her. She's rarely seen without a how on. Granny Smith handed me the reins of this reunion, and I'm gonna make the most of it. Pressure's on, but I think Applejack's up for the task. Da -da 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 -da. Rise and shine. Macintosh, the apple bloom working, grabbing some apples. Rarity in charge of fanciness. What's that for? I feel like we're not gonna see a whole lot of our other ponies. Oh. <laughs> that is the first time we've seen Spike breathe in like the entire season. Oh my god, I hear a stampede coming. I'm getting ready for names. Oh my god. Apple Rose. Howdy, y'all, and welcome to the Apple Family Reunion. Where is she? There's Babs. Gonna miss out on spending time with my favorite cousin? Forget about it. Forget about it. Applejack's gonna make Alrighty, it buddy. not fun. Applejack's Much trying too hard. I have put together something you are never gonna forget. Run around these trees 50 times until you're real 50 good times. Busy. Then you'll jump these big wooden hurdles. Oh, my gosh. 
Seriously? Seriously? How long you had those new chompers, Auntie Applesauce? A lady never reveals the age of her teeth. I imagine you two think I have forgotten what you did to my parasol six reunions ago. <laughs> Apple Jack, delightful to see you. Are you gonna join us in some quilting? We couldn't find our rocking chairs. I got rid of them to make room for these. Won't that be exciting? What there? Youthful complexion of mine. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's trying to have a good time, so they don't really put much effort into it. They're all trying to have fun. Tell you what, my apple tart may just be a baby. Don't you know? Having fun? Sure are. Roll fold, crib slide to the left. Roll fold, crib slide to the left. Now you try. Keep this assembly line moving, guys. Save it now. She's putting pressure on them. Chance to taste the best darn fritters in Equestria. Applejack's putting too much on these ponies. Everyone's exhausted now. No one can enjoy themselves. Can't forget to capture all these memories for Granny's album. They're all, all that dead. There. Or there. <laughs> Look how many fritters they made. Hmm. I get that my big sis wants this to be like a super awesome reunion. I thought we'd never get a minute to just hang out. And your minute's up. Your fellow apples are waiting for you to join them. There'll be plenty of time to bond with Babs when we do the hayride. Now, I know it's a lot of weight in that cart. We always had a nice and relaxing hayride around the farm, which is why I decided to change things up a bit. Work. So let's get this show on It's got to be work related. Are they just going to go like off-roading? Shake it up a little? Who's that Annie Applesauce? They're trying to have like a rocky ride. That's interesting. Never seen real fruit bats before. Uh oh. Oh my god, they're gonna attack Granny or Applesauce, anti applesauce. Hey, at least Applejack tried. She's been trying the whole time. Oh my god. We watched them raise that barn. I'm so, so sorry. You had us so caught up in all the doing. We haven't had a second to enjoy the company of the folks we've been doing it with. Family reunions are so oh, you can hang out with me. family, not be slaves. Be of creating great memories. Every pony's still here, ain't they? There's a lot of them, too. Family photo. Guess we can't take it in front of the barn this year. <sighs> I have one more activity. Raise the barn. This will be one we'll remember for all the right reasons. Barn raising. Raise this barn, raise this barn. I like how she's like, I just got one more favor to ask. Let's build a house. Raise a barn, raise a barn. I mean, hey, it will be a memory. The whole family got to work together. I had a feeling we were getting a song this episode. As soon as I saw a reunion. Mr. Scottish Pony. I always like when they're in like order like that. Who are you? I like her. I feel like this episode's gonna end on a picture. That family got big. I dig it. Everyone's heading home. Who's coming in on the air balloon? Yeah, put on a reunion that every pony will remember. Just had a couple minor hiccups along the way. She has to cover. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about Finally, family. a Princess Celestia. Turns out that when you're with folks you care about, you don't have to do much to make that time memorable. Your humble subject, Applejack. I love it. Love it. We're back to that. Shooting stars. Great episode, guys. I did not read the episode name before I saw it, so I didn't realize it was an Applejack episode. I love Applejack. I do love most of them, though, if not all of them. I do love them all. But back in the day, Applejack was my favorite. I guess, honestly, now I think Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie, they're sort of on the same level, maybe even a little higher. But I think that's because I haven't seen a whole lot of Applejack-centric episodes. I feel like the the Cutie Crusaders have been a lot more involved. I feel like other people have gotten more episodes. Rainbow Dash, I feel like, gets a lot more than anybody. 
Twilight Sparkle too. I feel like the other ones are kind of twisted. I feel like Pinkie Pie and Rarity have the least and Fluttershy, she's like the least. Not that it's important, but we finally got a send off to Princess Celestia. I was saying, I don't remember the last time we had one. I wasn't even sure if we had one this season yet, but we have Applejack. I thought for sure we were going to not have another one. I was the first thing I was about to say was, holy crap, we have not yet got a Princess Celestia send off. I thought that because it's an Applejack centric episode. It's dealing with her family. I did see that she learned a lesson. She was trying to push too hard on her family and everything else. But we finally got the Princess Celestia send off. So that still is a thing. I started thinking for a while that maybe in season three, they did away with it. And they just like never said why. But here we are. I'm sure in like one of the first two episodes, they probably did. And I just forgot. But I haven't looked back. And all I could think of was there was none. But Spike wasn't involved. Usually he's involved in some aspect with breathing it back or whatever, because he's the method that gets to her. I kept thinking during this episode, why do we keep seeing Granny Smith, but we never really see a grandfather? But then we see the Scottish guy and he's in the picture with her and they were dancing. Is that her husband or her boyfriend? Like, why isn't he living with Granny Smith? We always see Granny Smith at the farm with Big Macintosh and Applejack and Apple Bloom. It's just like the four of them. Why isn't the grandfather always there if that is the grandfather? And if it isn't, what happened to the grandfather? There has to be a grandfather. We had all these tales of the aunts and uncles and cousins. We got to see Babs again. The horrible New York accent. I mean, it's a great New York accent, but it's very stereotypical, which is funny in itself. Besides all that, we have a lot of insanity. I like how at the end there, Applejack's like, one more favor, guys. I know you're exhausted, and I just killed you with all these ridiculous events, but... Let's just raise a barn and we'll sing a song. You know how hard it is to raise a barn and they're already exhausted and they have like a night left, but it was funny. It was a good song. I just thought it was funny that it's like one more favor left. Let's build a house. That's extremely hard and difficult and takes forever. Who are the people that fly away on the air balloon? I feel like they are a pony of Applejack's family. We have not met yet. We had Manhattan. We had Appaloosa. And I feel like we saw like, 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 I don't know, uh, Canadian ponies. They had like, don't you know, ponies right there. But were those the ones that came in on the air balloon? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. And who's the violin pony? I don't know why, but she stood out. I like the colors and she played the violin like a, like a great violin player. If you guys want to be way ahead, Patreon link in front of me, full unedited reactions of this and other shows I do seasons ahead of what you're seeing. If not, Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.